Good morning children. Today we shall learn more about data handling, a new type of graph called histogram. On a particular Sunday, many children visited the city zoo. The zoo authorities collected the data about the age of 200 children who visited the zoo on Sunday. Out of this 200 children, 75 children of age group 6 to 7 years visited the zoo. In the age group 7 to 8 years, there were 40 children. 25 children in the age group of 8 to 9. And 60 children were in the age group 9 to 10. Let's use the bar chart to represent this data. We shall use bars of uniform width to represent an age group with equal spacing between them and then the length of each bar shall represent the number of children in each age group. So here on the horizontal line we will write the given four age groups at fixed intervals that is 6 to 7, 7 to 8, 8 to 9 and 9 to 10. And on the vertical line we will write the numbers from 0 to 80 at fixed intervals to represent the number of children. So here we get the bar chart. The blue bar represents the number of children in the age group 6 to 7 which is equal to 75. The pink bar represents the number of children in the age group 7 to 8 which is equal to 40. The brown bar represents the number of children in the age group 8 to 9 which is equal to 25. And lastly the yellow bar represents the number of children in the age group 9 to 10 and it is equal to 60. If you notice carefully, the age groups are continuous. 6 to 7, then 7 to 8, then 8 to 9 and 9 to 10. So, is there a better way to represent such type of data? Such data that are continuous and have a range or interval can be better represented using a special type of bar graph or the bar chart. See, on the horizontal line, we will write the ages at fixed intervals 6, 7, 8, 9 and so on. Now we place the bars representing the number of children. The width of the bar becomes the range of the age here. See, this way all the bars become adjacent with no gap in between them. There are no gaps between the bars because there are no gaps between the intervals. They are continuous 6 to 7. 7 to 8, 8 to 9, 9 to 10. So, the width of the bar becomes the range of age here. This type of bar graph or the bar chart is called histogram. In this particular case, the data is not starting from 0. We have the age group starting from 6, not from 0. Hence, a jagged line has been used along the horizontal line to indicate that we are not showing the numbers corresponding to ages between 0 to 6. So now you know if the data is continuous, then histogram is a better way to represent data compared to a bar chart. In this case, 
there will be no gap between the bars as the data is continuous a histogram is a bar that shows the data in intervals it has adjacent bars over the intervals thus the width of bar is uniform and it is the interval the length of bar indicates the given number for example here it represents the number of children in different age groups in the zoo that's all for now bye bye children